Mazal tov to all of the honorees, but I'm here to wish a special Yasher Koach to my chaver, colleague, and mentor, Ken Bob. Ken, even though it's late, I know you're watching from home, from Israel. From us first crossing paths when I was a mere chanichad winter seminar, and you were a visiting former mazkir from Habunim Dror, through your time on Kibbutz Gezer, and then returning to the U.S. and committing to leadership in Amenu, the AZM, and the national institutions, just to name a few, you have been synonymous with the term dugma ishit, a personal example to me and others as a progressive Zionist activist and leader. Like all of us at the Biennial, we did not expect to be celebrating during these horrific times, but you are once again leading through strength in your work on rescuing the hostages, including our friend and colleague, Vivian Silver. In clothing, I could quote any number of Zionist leaders that are behind me, but it will be no surprise that I will conclude with Olive Dalid Gordon. There will be no victory of light over dark until we stand on the simple truth that instead of fighting the dark, we must build the light. Hamon toda bonet sion ken. I feel very privileged and honored to present Judge Abraham Gaffney for the Builders of Zion Bonet Zion Award of the American Zionist Movement. In 2013, when I was president of the AZM, I appointed Judge Gaffney as chairman of the American Election Committee. He continues in that role to today. He was the right person for the job. I'm not sure he knew exactly what he was getting into, but he never complained. With his great wisdom, fairness, and clear-headedness, he led us through some very complex moments in the life of AZM and the world of the WZO. I felt that with his career as a judge, his involvement with Jaffe and with WZO, he was the right person for the job. He was then, he is now. Rabbi Hanina ben Dosa tells us in Pirkei Avot, Kol sheruach habriot nochah menu, ruach hamakom nochah menu. When a person's fellow creatures are pleased with him, God was pleased with, is pleased with him as well. We respect Judge Abram Gaffney, we love him, he is a good friend to all. We pray that he may be blessed with many years of good health, of continued service to the Jewish people. Kol HaKavod, Magi you deserve this great award. Mazal Tov. Bennett, Mazal Tov. I cannot imagine anyone being more deserving of this award, award right now. You are the ultimate American Zionist. You were born just a few weeks after the Jewish state was established in 1948. And since then, every day of your life has brought with it a commitment to Israel, to Zionism, and to the Jewish people. There has been no one who has sent more students to Israel in their lifetime than you. And you have endlessly been tirelessly working and committed to raising money, sending kids, teaching about Israel and working with our organized Jewish community to make Israel a strong priority for American Jews. And you have done it in just an inspiring way, talking about how this has meant so much to you personally and why the story of the Jewish people in the state of Israel is inextricably intertwined. Bennett, I, I love you for everything that you are and everything that you do and everything that you have taught me. And you are constantly always reminding us why Israel is so important and why we need to be working for its cause as American Jews and through the reform movement. Bennett Mazaltov, and I hope that your infectious love for the Jewish people, for the state of Israel, for the Hebrew language, and for Zionism only inspires continue, continued generations to come. Mazaltov, and thank you for all you do. For the sake of Zion, I will not be silent. For the sake of Jerusalem, I will not be still till her victory emerge with splendid and her triumph like a flaming torch. I'm Saray Crane, Executive Director of Merkaz USA. It is indeed my honor to say a few words about Merkaz board member, my mentor and friend, Alan Silberman, whose life exemplifies this verse from Isaiah. Alan is the board member that everyone wants, a Zionist from birth. It's in his blood. Just ask him about the work his parents did before the creation of the state. 
Allen has been a leader in his local community as well as nationally and globally. No one knows more about the intricacies of the Zionist world than he does. Allen, who is a world-class attorney, has given of his time and energy to the Jewish community, from his synagogue, to Camp Ramah, to Masorti Olami, to the AZM, the WZO, and of course, Merkaz USA. And I'm sure I've left off several other groups. He and his wife, Margaret, who ran the Tikva program at Ramah, Wisconsin, have been a force to be reckoned with in the Jewish community. It should be noted that he has a grandson who is a lone soldier and is now with his unit defending the state of Israel. Summing up, I need to emphasize that Alan is a Mitch. He always takes my calls and helps fill me in on history, how we got to where we are, understanding that the world has changed and oh so willing to be part of the team to figure out how to move forward for the good of the Jewish people. Alan Silverman's involvement in the conservative Masorti movement, American Zionism, and Klal Yisrael continues to be a blessing that we pray will continue for many years to come. Sandra Sokal is truly a force of nature, one of the most incredible leaders I have ever encountered. I've had the privilege to work alongside her both at the AZM and Amit for several years now, and I have learned so much from her. I can truly say how fortunate I am to have had her as a mentor. Her breadth of knowledge is astounding. She is a walking encyclopedia of modern Jewish history and can quote AZM, Constitution, and bylaws like a seasoned attorney. Her input at any meeting is always brilliant, poignant, and measured so as to address the issue while also considering all positions. Sandra's tone and her demeanor is always so respectful and understanding, regardless of who she is speaking with and whether she agrees or disagrees vehemently with their stance. It is this that enables her to get along with representatives from all facets of our wide AZM community and to be so respected by all. As a former president of Amit, she led with confidence and a fearless spirit that allowed us to emerge as a number one school network in Israel. And as a member of the AZM, and in the various roles she holds at Jaffe, the WZO and beyond, she advocates fearlessly and brilliantly for what she believes is fair and just, always with the goal of making Israel even better for future generations. Marlene, mazel tov on receiving the AZM's Builder of Zion, Bonet Zion Award. You are a leading and generous role model for all women who are lucky enough to know you and who aspire to make an impact in the Jewish and Zionist world. In fact, Marlene, I don't think there is anyone exactly like you. During your over 50-year volunteer career, you have played important roles in many Jewish and Zionist philanthropies. These include past national president of Adassa, past president of Adassa International, founding member of Birthright Israel, the Claims Conference, the Jewish National Fund, the Israel Sports Center for the Disabled, the Jewish Agency for Israel, the Board of Israeli Bonds, the Advisory Council of the New York Board of Rabbis, the Jewish Community Relations Council of New York, the Board of the American Zionist Movement, the World Zionist Movement, United Jewish Appeal Federation of New York. Phew, and I probably left some out. Marlene, your leadership style has always been with warmth and grace. You are an amazing woman. The world needs more Marlene Posts. Thank you for being a mentor, friend, and colleague to all who know you. Again, Mazel Tov, we love you. Solomon, I can't think of anybody more fitting to be honored by the AZM than you. And I'm very sorry that physical impediments prevent me from being with you and everybody else tonight at this Banyo gathering. You've been a mentor and a campaign manager, a companion, a friend, and a co-religionist of Jacques Torshina for more years than I want to try and count. And I value every single one of them. Your knowledge of 
not only the constitution of the World Zionist Organization, but I think the entire Talmud associated with the World Zionist Organization has been invaluable to all of us, whether we know it or not. Thank you for all you've done for the AZM, behind the scenes and out in front in carrying so much Zionist fervor with you in that deep, slightly accented, gravelly voice. Zion greetings, Mazal Tov. Hi, Erica. We at Hobbin Drawer Drawer want to say thank you for all the work you've done. We're so excited for you to receive this award. You deserve it the most. Uh, we want to thank you for all of the work that you did to lead Hobbin Drawer Drawer and lead the progressive Zionist world. We're so excited for you and your future Aliyah journey, and we're so excited that you're receiving this award and you deserve it the most. Uh, yeah, congratulations, Erica. We are so proud of you and are so lucky to call you a Habo alum. Um, and we wish you the best of luck in your journeys through Eretz Yisrael. <laughs>